Now, you may have missed this yesterday, but it could have a massive impact on who wins the White House in November. So a federal judge struck down a Florida law that requires felons to pay back their fines and fees in order to vote. Now, if it sticks, that clears the way for many ex-felons to register in the 2020 election and take part in voting. As many as 1.7 million more voters in Florida could be entered into the election pool. That's 10% of our state's voting age population. Now, that's even a big deal for the presidential race because it was pretty close in 2016. Only 112,000 plus votes separated President Trump and Hillary Clinton in our state. If Trump had lost Florida, Clinton would be in the White House right now. And I mean, Hillsborough County alone could see 116,000 more eligible to get their rights back to vote in the 2020 election. 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Drowicz explains what's next and how Hillsborough isn't waiting on the course to get them registered to vote. It is a big deal. In one, Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren has not been willing to wait on. It's been nearly two years since voters approved Amendment 4, more than a year since state lawmakers got involved, and now months that Warren's been working on his own local process to restore eligible felons' voting rights while the legal and political wrangling rages on. We had seen the writing on the wall with this months ago and designed our system locally in anticipation of what this ruling would be. That federal ruling says felons cannot be kept from voting even if they can't afford to pay their fees and restitution. It also puts the burden on the state, not the felons, to figure out how much they actually owe. In Hillsborough, the county has created a system to at least figure out a good estimate. From there, a qualifying felon can go before a special court where a judge ultimately decides if he or she can actually afford to pay it. Our hope is that other counties around the state look at what we're doing and build off it. We're prepared to go forward with what we have done locally in anticipation of opponents continuing to drag their feet. Yeah, even the judge who issued this ruling agree this is probably still far from over. Expect an appeal, and that could mean a hold on felons being able to register ahead of the November election. It's going to continue to be a huge mess. Tampa Attorney Richard Harrison has led Amendment 4 opposition from the start. I don't think anybody intended when they voted for Amendment 4 to make it okay for a convicted felon to walk away from restitution. By the way, so far, Governor Ron DeSantis has not said anything about this ruling. His office told us they were still reviewing it.